School is named for Union Mills, a historic community that vanished over 100 years ago. The area known as Union Mills was located between Pope's Head Run and Johnny Moore Creek, just west of the town of Clifton. In 1809, John Hickson Dye was granted a permit to build a water-powered grist mill, timber mill, and a woolen mill on land near Bull Run. Dye named his milling complex Union Mills. During the 19th century, mills were important economic engines for the community. There were several mills located in the Union Mills area, operated by the Turley, Kinchlow, and Pollard families. During the early 1850s, the Orange and Alexandria Railroad line was built through the area and a station was located at Union Mills. During the Civil War, Union Mills was occupied by both Confederate and Union forces at various times. Following the First Battle of Bull Run, Confederate forces built a substantial complex of defenses in the Centerville area, stretching southward to Union Mills. In August of 1862, the Bull Run Railroad Bridge near Union Mills was the scene of intense combat as Union troops retreated from the Second Battle of Bull Run. After the fighting subsided, Union troops were stationed in the area to protect the bridge and railroad line. Soldiers of the 12th Pennsylvania Reserves carved their company name into one of the bridge abutment stones. After the war, residents began to filter back into the area around Union Mills but the scars of war were simply too severe for the community to survive. The Union Mills Post Office closed in 1866, and the railroad station, unable to compete with Devereux Station in the growing town of Clifton, closed in 1869. The countryside around Union Mills slowly reverted to forest. Today, all that remains of Union Mills are overgrown mill races, stone ruins, and a few Confederate fortifications. Union Mill Elementary School was established in 1986 to serve the growing Centerville community. A millstone from the Old Dominion Stone Company near the school's entryway and murals in the cafeteria speak to students about the community's historic way of life. <laughs>